cooking with Lakers video. This week we're doing a sweet recipe, one that you could have for a dessert or just for afternoon tea. It's done in a tray bake method, but actually it's cooked slightly different to our normal tray bake and I think you'll find that interesting. We're going to be making peach melba squares. So I've preheated my oven. I put it on to 160 because mine is a fan oven, but you can put it on to 180 if it's not. And that would be the equivalent of about gas mark four. And what we're going to do first is we're going to gently melt the butter here in a saucepan. So this is what I said that the method is slightly different. Normally you would cream butter and sugar together in a mixing bowl. We're starting here by melting our butter in a pot. As you can see, the butter is totally melted. And what I've done is I've let it cool down for about five minutes. Just don't want to be totally boiling because we will be adding some eggs in. At this stage, I'm going to add in the sugar. And I'm going to add in our vanilla. Just give that a good stir together. And now we'll add in our eggs. So I have just beaten them lightly together. Just going to slowly mix them in, a little at a time. As you can see it's kind of a strange consistency. well mixed together and I'm going to stir in my flour and ground almonds. So that took a little bit of work to mix in the flour just to make sure we don't really have too many lumps left. And like I said, then I'm adding in my ground almonds. This is going into a tin that's about 20 by 30 centimeters. If you're using a tin, you would need to line it and grease it. Um, I'm actually going to be using a silicone mold, so it makes it easier. I don't need to, to do that. Sometimes though, as your molds get a bit older, you might want to grease it. So I've moved to a spatula now, and I'm going to pour this into my mold. I've actually popped my silicone mold into a metal tray. It just makes it easier for taking it in and out of the oven. And then at this point, I'm going to add the peaches. Now you can use tinned peaches um, and drain them and pat them dry. What I'm using is I'm using some fresh peaches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place them on the top. I'm going to do it so maybe if you're going to cut this in two slices, that each piece gets a nice slice of peach. And then we scatter our raspberries over the top. They will sink down into it as well. And the same thing, just try and get them evenly spread out. And then a 
good handful of flaked almonds over the top. And again, this can be just whatever you enjoy. If you like flaked almonds, be nice and generous like I am. If you're not that gone on the nuts, you can actually leave them out or you can be less generous. So this is going to go in the oven. It will take about an hour to an hour and 10 minutes. But what I'm going to do is put it in for about 40 minutes and then I'm going to cover it. You can do that with some tin foil or with some greaseproof paper just to stop the top getting too brown. At this stage, the tray bake has been in for about 40 minutes. So I'm going to cover it gently now and pop it back into the oven for another perhaps 20 minutes. I'll check it at that stage. I checked it after another 20 minutes and it still needed a little bit longer. So I've given it another 10 minutes. So that's an hour and 10 minutes altogether. But now I think it's about the right consistency. Yeah, it needs to be still a little bit moist in the middle, but not uncooked. I'm going to allow it to cool totally in its own tin and then I'm going to sprinkle the top with some icing sugar. Once our cake is fully cooled, our final task is a visual one. We want to sprinkle it with some icing sugar. Makes it very nice looking at the end and adds a little bit to the taste.